feel like if you're with somebody, you should be able to trust them. And the fact that she doesn't trust me, it's gonna tear us apart, basically, because you can't be with somebody and claim you love them without trusting them. I'm here today because my wife, Brooks, accused me of uh, bringing drugs into our house and cheating on her. And the fact that she doesn't trust me, it, it hurts my feelings. You know, we've been together for 16 years. I figure she should know me by now. Uh, my wife, Brooke, found drugs in the house, and in the car, in the kitchen. It bothers her because we're recovering addicts, and uh, it was somewhere where the kids, we have a two-year-old, and she could have got a hold of it. I don't feel that it was drugs. I think it was just normal trash in the floor or something, sawdust, I don't know. But she scooped it up, thinks that it's, it's meth or molly. She came to me freaking out, threatening to kick me out of the house. I told her that we would get a drug test, and it came up positive for meth and MDMA. That testing positive just kind of made me look worse, I'd say, because now she definitely believes that it was that and that I brought it into the house. I've uh, been clean now for since 2019. Struggled with heroin addiction for like seven years, eight years. And now, now that we're off that, I, I don't plan on ever doing that again. That's why it, it sucks so bad that she thinks this was me, because I, I wouldn't bring that around her kids. I just wish that she could trust me again. Back in the beginning of mine and Brooke's relationship, I, I broke her trust. I cheated on her about 15 years ago, 16 years ago when we first got together. I haven't done anything since then. It's just a, a pattern where she doesn't believe me no matter what. She believes I'm cheating because we went and did the laundry and, and our dryer is broke, so we were using the laundry mat. And she found women's underwear, but like she came to me and threw them at me. I was like, uh, we, we just used a public laundry mat. Like, how are you gonna blame me for that whenever it was probably left over in the washing machine? Like, I, all these accusations are tearing our relationship apart. We're fighting now in front of the kids. Every day is just constant fighting. Today, I hope once she sees that I passed this lie detector test that we can just go back the way things used to be before any of the cheating or drugs or anything like that. A couple months ago, I started feeling like he was hiding something from me. Um, he would just go outside more, try to be away from me more. Um, and then about a month ago was whenever I found these drugs in my house. We were working on the dryer in the kitchen and I looked down and I seen a crystal-like substance in the floor. Um, of course, I swept it up and I immediately started accusing him because I thought it was drugs. He tried to tell me I'm crazy, that's not what it is. Um, so I looked it up on the internet. It looked the same exact of what pulled up on the internet. What, which drug was it? Uh, MDMA. Which is? Uh, ecstasy, Molly. Okay. Um, so it's just been a fight from there. Um, I don't trust him due to our past issues. Were you both addicts at one time? Yes, yeah. We, uh, we tried so hard to overcome this and that's what makes me I don't know, sad, mad about it because we, we did overcome this and we fought so hard and stayed together through it and we did it for our kids. You know, when you say you've been together 16 years, so you were 14 years old when you got together with Correct. him. He was 16. Um, and then when he cheated on you, if it was 15 years ago, that puts him at 17. I mean, you know, 17 year old boys do a lot of stupid stuff. And I agree, I agree. And you guys never got married, huh? No. Why is that? Well, uh, with battling through addiction, that kind of put a damper you on things. You were busy with you were busy with uh, just battling through life, let alone thinking about getting married. Correct. What kind of drugs were you guys addicted to? Uh, back then, it was meth and heroin. Oof. Yeah. So that's, that's I mean, that's said, pretty addictive stuff. Yeah, that's why I said like we tried so hard to overcome that. How long have you guys, and, you know, other than this drugs you find in these drugs, how long had you been clean about it? Uh, since 2019, it's about five years. Oh, good for you. Okay, so now you're clean, you believe you're clean for five years, 
you find this drug, do you really believe that uh, your boyfriend would endanger not only your kids, but your relationship? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know what else I'm supposed to think whenever it's just me and him in the house. And he says, let me get a drug kit, and it, it did turn up as drugs. Yes. Uh, Anybody else in the house, like friends that came over? No. Yeah. No, we don't, we don't really have people come over. You don't have people come over. What about the underwear? Like he says, hey, you were in a, a public you know, laundromat. Could the panties have been somebody that left it over? I guess it could have been, but I was pretty sure I checked all the washers, all the washing machine before we even put our clothes in. Uh. Um, so I didn't give him the benefit of the doubt. I did immediately start accusing him. Were they attractive panties at least? Or? No. <laughs> no. The, granny the, panties? They look like granny panties, yeah. yeah. No. I don't think you have much to worry about. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe drugs really. <laughs> um, so, like, if, if he's lying to you, I mean, I know the cheating would hurt, but I got to imagine the drugs is even worse. Yeah, yeah, that's that's where I'm gonna put my foot down. And what if he fails? If he fails, I'm out. You're out. Yeah, I'm I'm taking the case and I'm going. And a lot of times people say that on my stage, and I say, yeah. In your case, I believe it because. I got to imagine there was a lot of nights, a lot of months, a lot of years going through the horrors of drug addiction and that there's no way in hell you want to go back to that. Exactly. Okay. Well, let's meet your boyfriend, Charles. I, I don't know. I don't know why you think this was me. We went through all this stuff together. I tried my hardest to, uh, to always be there for you. I know I broke your trust a long time ago, but I, I wouldn't bring drugs around the kids. I wouldn't put them through that. But you know you've seen what came up on that drug test. You know it was positive for meth. It was, and it made me look bad, but <laughs> I'm, I'm going to prove it today. You said the drug's positive for meth? Yeah. It, it was that's... meth and MDMA. Oh, both? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think sometimes they, they cut meth with MDMA. I don't even think it was drugs. Well, you I tested it, it, though, right? Yeah, but it was a urine test, and we just sprinkled some of the stuff in there and put water in it and shook it up. So I'm not sure the results are accurate. Well, why'd you do that, then? Because it was my bright idea to try that, thinking... But where did you get that idea from? I just thought I, maybe I could do a drug test on it, and uh, it would show up that it wasn't any kind of drugs, so... Kind of backfired on you, huh? <laughs> it definitely backfired on me. Yep. So you didn't bring drugs in the house? No, I wouldn't bring drugs in the You're house. You're not using drugs? I'm not using drugs. When's the last time you used drugs? I had a relapse back in October. But other than that, I've been clean since 2019, where we got clean together. Yeah. And you've had no relapses, right? No. no. Um, now, you know, you talk about this unfaithfulness when 15 years ago, but you were a teenage kid, right? Yeah. 17? Yeah, I mean, I was, oh, yeah, I was 17, like... Yeah, I mean, listen, you should have done it, but, I mean, you're a goofy teenager. Um, but since that time, have you ever been with another woman? Never. Never. Even through all the drug addiction and... We, we were going through it together. We've been, we've been side by side all day, every day, uh, for the last 16 years. I mean, I went to prison when I was 17, and she stuck by me. How long did you go to prison for? They sentenced me to three years. I, I did a little, about two. And you waited the whole two years? <coughs> yeah. She brought the kids yeah, up every weekend to see me and everything. Wow. So that's what I said. I, I, after that, I wouldn't put you through any of that stuff, man. I, I love you. But it just angers me. You, because it, if it does come back it's that, not gonna come that back. you're not lying or that you're lying, I mean, what am I supposed to do? I'm going to have to take the kids and go. I can't keep the kids and through And I wouldn't blame you for that. I wouldn't blame you for that one bit. I would want you to do that, because that's what I would do. You're saying if you fail the slide of tuck test, she should yeah, take the kids. Yeah, that's what I would do, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's 100%. what I'm going to do. I mean, I, I have to. And uh, the women's panties? <laughs> they were granny panties. She threw them at me. Okay. We're doing the laundry, and she, she tosses them at me. I'm like, man, get those nasty things off me. Like, it pissed me off. What happened in October? I got around some people I shouldn't have been around. and. Uh, what drug did you do? Meth. You did meth. You smoked it? Yeah. What, what the f are you thinking? <laughs> Thank you. I wasn't. 
Yeah, but I mean, come on. You Here you're clean from 19, uh, 2019 to 2023, late 2023. Yeah. And here you got your life back together. You got y your woman. You got your kids. You, you know, and there was something there that said, yeah, this is, I should do this. Yeah, I mean, I, I still battle it every day. Like I understand, uh, but wasn't that saying, like, no, man, no, no, no. Yeah, something. <laughs> so it was just a one-time deal? Yeah. And you went home and you told her about it? Yeah, she knows about it, yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I, mean I got bitched at for it. Well, of course. <laughs> I, I told him if, I, if it was ever again, I was going to leave. I'm taking the kids. I'm done. That was his so one, you knew. one chance. So you knew. You knew what the deal was. Yeah. So no crying, right? Sorry. If you fail? I'm not going to fail, but yeah, no. All right. There you go. Brooke, we, we gave you a lie detector test. What, whether it was your drugs? No. Cheating. Whether you cheat? Whether I cheat. They said I've cheated. You wonder if she cheats? No, I don't think she cheats. I think she just took one because I took one. Okay. Which is fair. Yeah, that's what he said. Brooke, we asked you since being in a relationship with Charles, have you had any physical sexual contact or acts with any other men? <coughs> you answered no. Since being in a relationship with Charles, have you had sexual intercourse with any other men? You answered no. Uh, your results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Brooke told the truth. First. Uh, so we broke yours up into two parts, cheating and drugs. Yep. We asked you, since getting back in a relationship with Brooke in March of 2011, have you had any physical sexual contact or acts with any other woman? You answered no. Since getting back in a relationship with Brooke in March of 2011, have you had any sexual intercourse with any other woman? You answered no. Results came back the same to those two questions, and it came back that Charles told the truth. Told you. Told you. Not my panties. Not my panties. You are not the owner of the granny panties. <laughs> nope. Then we go on to give you a lot of tech to test about the drugs. That's the important one. Have you used any drugs other than marijuana, which you shouldn't even be doing that, since October of 2023 without Brooke's knowledge? You answered no. Do you know for sure if the substances found in your car and house were actually drugs? You answered no. Did the drugs that Brooke found in the house and car belong to you? You answered no. Were the substances Brooke found in the house and car drugs that you had done recently? You answered no. Results came back all the same. And it came back that Charles told the truth. <laughs> I don't know what you found. And, and the way he did this drug test, I don't even know if you found drugs. I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, well, but hey, genius, don't do it was like an that. egghead move. Hey, it's nice to meet you, man. I mean, you know, Big that's fan. so. Oh, well, thank you, but I mean, <laughs> re live your life like what would Steve do? Yeah. Steve there wouldn't. You go. Steve wouldn't take a urine test and take drugs and pour it out. Oh, yeah. It seemed like a good drugs. idea at the time. Like, yeah. Okay, don't do that. I thought it was a good um, idea. Listen, and, and I'll say this. I'm really proud of you guys, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. You gotta think of your kids yeah. when you put that meth pipe to your lips and you know you think about doing that you have to think what am i going to give up so i could take a puff of this and it's not worth it you know it really isn't i'm i'm glad that you passed i'm glad that you can con continue on as a family and i wish you much success in your battle against you know fighting this addiction that you've done very well with and i hope you can keep it going thanks, thanks. So much. thanks, thanks, thanks. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help.